Why you don't see why for market? I better don't give me a drink. Somebody said, love your audacity, blessing. Oh, thank you. Um, somebody said, was abused during childhood and has hated sex as that result. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Mm, I'm so sorry about that. You don't need to hate sex, darling. And that's the reason why I said, I'm still going to take you back. You need a man that is going to help you relax. A man has to make you relax for you to be able to come out of that abuse. So, and that's why when you're dating, when you're getting yourself involved in a relationship, you need to pick who you are dating. You need to pick who is going to be patient with you because of the things that you have gone through. It's still the same thing as when I talk about insecurity and blah, 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 blah. I'm so sorry about that. Mm. Mm. Any other question, guys? Any other question? Somebody say, I'm a cruise day your life, die. Do you all guys like women? Do all guys like, like when a woman is freak in bed and not judge her after? You people are asking me personal questions that are based on choices. And that's the reason why the power of choices lie in your hand. You can't be generalizing. There's some people that don't like some certain things. Why do you want to choose somebody that does not like sex and you like sex? Find the person that is like you now. Why do you want to choose a man that has big stomach and you don't like big stomach? There are lots of men with flat tummy now. So if you like sex, there's somebody that likes sex like you. So why do you like stressing yourself with your choices? These questions most of you are asking me are personal questions. That's your power. I don't have power over it. My own is to guide you so that you can make the right choices. Choose your like mind. That's why they say marry your friend. Marry your friend. Eh, eh, you will marry for money. Marry your friend. No, you will marry your father. Marry your friend. No, you will marry your mother for, 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 for papers. You will not come and be asking me, blessing, does love exist? Blessing, my husband does not love me. Blessing, my husband does not give you head. Why will he give you head when you married your father? Why will he give you head when you married your mother for papers? When you married for the wrong reason? You are not coming to stress relationship therapies and be saying, my husband does not love me. Why did you marry your father? Because some of you are married to your father for money. Don't stress me, I beg. Make the right choices. Marry friend, you marry your papa. Marry your friend, you marry your mama. What do you expect your, you and your father to be doing in bed? Eh? Not be authority your father to give you for bed. What do you expect you and your mother to be doing in bed? Stop marrying your father and your mother. Stop marrying your uncle and your auntie. Marry your friend. No. Stop marrying your ogre. Stop marrying your bosses. Marry your friend. You no go agree. You go say, ah, blessing, motivational speaker. You no go listen to motivation. If you make me say, you can't ask me question when you get ahead. I beg, I beg, I don't stress me. Next question, please. They're not here. <laughs> Thanks for the video. You are the I'm your biggest fan. I wish I could meet you in real life. Don't worry, you will. How do you know when a guy is no longer interested in you? You know. Don't ask me foolish question. You know. You know. For you to be asking this question, it simply means he's not interested in you. The person who asks me, how do you know a guy is not interested in you? It simply means the guy is not interested in you. Because this question. Is you now nah, you know that the guy, but you are just waiting for blessing to talk. Uh -uh. Your question is your once you start to ask questions like this, know that it is a comma. <laughs> uh, so from this, your question it simply means the guy is not interested in you. You now know. So what do you want to do? Blessing has now told you. One, will you move? In my move, okay. Next live video now you see asking me the same question. Blessing, how do you know the guy is not interested in you? He won't give you time. He won't have time to be answered. Let me answer the question, blessing. Okay, you guys can answer the question for her. I don't have a lot of inter intelligent people here. Hi, greetings from Senegal. Hi, darling. Greetings from China. Hi there. I love you. I love you too, darling. Man, because I don't want to quarrel this night. So, are we good? Good morning from India. Good morning, darling. 
Some men don't know how to give head. No, it's not my work now. Please bless and save this live video. I don't want to save this live video. I don't know why. <laughs> I said a lot of personal things in the live video, so I'm not going to save it. I'm not saving this because I said a lot of personal things. <laughs> and I can only say that on an Instagram live because I know I'm going to delete it. So I might not save the live video. There, is, there are many ways to know someone isn't interested in you. I used to hate head until I met someone that does it better. Uh -huh, you hear right now? There are some men that when they are giving you head, you point saliva everywhere. Saliva. Now, I'm going to see there are so many. You guys will have to.